of the cross. I'd like to welcome everybody here today, in particular His Excellency the Most Reverend Arturo Cepeda, uh, Father Eduardo, a friend of uh, Juan Pablo, all the friends from Sacred Heart Major Seminary, uh, deacons and classmates, all his uh, other family and friends, especially his parents Claudio and Cecilia, his aunt Angelica, his cousin Andres, and all the others, all those watching online, welcome and thank you so much for coming to support Juan Pablo and to pray for him and with him. Thank you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Mis hermanos y hermanas, good morning. It is with great joy that we gather as people of faith to celebrate this Eucharist and to celebrate and witness this sacrament of ordination to the diaconate of our son, our friend, our brother, Juan Pablo. Quiero también tomar este momento para dar la bienvenida a su familia que se encuentra con nosotros y a toda la familia que nos están viendo por televisión. It's a live stream mass. Beautiful with great joy. 
Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, asking God for forgiveness for the times where we have not been faithful to God, even though God has always been faithful to all of us. Kyrie eleison Kyrie eleison Christ eleison Christ Que el Señor Todopoderoso tenga misericordia de nosotros, perdone nuestros pecados y nos lleve a la vida eterna. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the And on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God heavenly King. Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High Jesus. God, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. O God, who have taught the ministers of your church to seek not to be served, but to serve their brothers and sisters, grant, we pray, that this your servant, whom you graciously choose today for the office of deacon, may be effective in action, gentle in ministry, and constant in prayer. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The word of the Lord came to me thus. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I dedicated you. A prophet to the nations, I appointed you. Ah, oh, Lord God, I said, I know not how to speak. 
I am too young. But the Lord answered me, Say not, I am too young. To whomever I send you, you shall go. Whatever I command you, you shall speak. Have no fear before them, because I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Then the Lord extended his hand and touched my mouth, saying, See, I place my words in your mouth. The word of the Lord. According to Matthew. Glory 
Jesus went around to all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness. At the sight of the crowds, his heart was moved with pity for them, because they were troubled and abandoned, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Let Juan Pablo Orozco, who is to be ordained, come forward. Most Reverend Father, Holy Mother Church asks you to ordain this man, our brother, to the responsibility of the diaconate. Do you know him to be worthy? After inquiry among the Christian people, and upon the recommendation of those responsible, I testify that he has been found worthy. Relying on the help of the Lord God and our Savior Jesus Christ, we choose this man, our brother, for the order of the diaconate. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Let's give him a round of applause. Brothers and sisters, it is with great joy that we gather as people of faith. Con gran gozo nos reunimos como gente de fe. Es el Señor el que nos ha unido el día de hoy. Es el Señor el que nos sigue llamando a hacer su misión. Since today, our son, Juan Pablo, who is your relative and friend, is now to be advanced to the order of deacons. Let us carefully consider the nature of the ministry in the church to which he is about to be raised. Strengthened by the gift of the Holy Spirit, he will help us, bishops and priests, in the ministry of the word, of the altar, and of charity, showing himself to be a servant of all. Following the example of our Lord, he is to proclaim the gospel of the kingdom, as we hear in today's gospel according to Matthew. Así es, Juan Pablo, you are called to proclaim the kingdom of heaven. You are called to proclaim God's word. You are called to serve the altar. You are called to work in building the kingdom with charity. Isn't that exciting? Please say yes. Very good. It is exciting. It is God who calls us. It is God who chooses us. It is God who does the rest. 
we must not be afraid. That's precisely what we hear in today's first reading. And the prophet saying, no, God, I am very young. And God said, nope. And then he said, well, I don't have the words. All kinds of excuses. And God says, nope, that's my plan. I will place my words in your mouth. ¿Qué tal? Reconocer que es Dios el que nos llama y reconocer que es Dios el que toca nuestras bocas para proclamar la buena nueva. Bendito sea Dios. As I always say, let God be God. As minister of the altar, Juan Pablo, you will proclaim the gospel, you will prepare the sacrifice, and distribute the Lord's body and blood to the faithful. And furthermore, it will be your duty to exhort believers and non-believers alike and to instruct them in the teachings of the church. You will preside over public prayer. You will administer baptism, assist and bless marriages, bring viaticum to the dying, and conduct funeral rites. He is to go about all these duties in such a way that you will be recognized as minister of God's church, as called to be always faithful to his gospel. Now, my dear son, Juan Pablo, you are to be raised to the order of the diaconate, and the Lord has set an example that just as he himself has done, you also should do. As a deacon, that is, as minister of Jesus Christ, who came among his disciples as one who served, I'm asking you to do always God's will from your heart. Sigue a Dios con todo tu corazón. Serve our people in love and joy as the Lord would do. We give thanks. We give thanks to God. Le damos gracias a Dios. For Juan Pablo and for all the graces that God will bestow in his life. En las palabras del Beato, nuestro Beato, Padre Solanus Casey, decimos claramente que le damos gracias a Dios por adelantado. We give thanks to God ahead of time. As a member of the Companions of the Cross, Juan Pablo, you proclaim the love of Christ crucified. You proclaim the love for one another as a life of true brotherhood. And you proclaim the love of our church as you continue her mission of evangelization and renewal. As we are all aware, here in the Archdiocese of Detroit, aquí en nuestra iglesia local de la Arquidiócesis de Detroit, we are set on the path of new evangelization. We are said to proclaim this good news with joy. We are said to proclaim the presence of God in our midst, sin dudas. Convinced that God is the one that has called us to be a missionary church. Juan Pablo is now in that path too. And we pray for him. My dear friends, as, as we continue to be open, proclaiming with joy, let us give thanks to God who is in our midst. And finally, please allow me to share with you from the practical wisdom of our Holy Father, Pope Francis. I'm sure you know him. He's all over the media. And when he was writing his apostolic exhortation of Evangelii Gaudium, the joy of the gospel, 
el gozo del Evangelio. He says, all of us, all of us, are called to be joyful missionaries of the church, of our God, all of us. Our church is always moving forward in good times and in difficult times. And we have experienced difficult times, I have no doubt. Con esta pandemia, ha sido difícil. And yet, we need to take the first step, he tells us. We want to be a missionary church, then take the first step. You're the one. You're not going to be asking anybody else. It's about you. It is about taking that first step. And you're doing it, Juan Pablo. Thanks be to God. And then he says to us, our Holy Father said, you know, then you had to engage with your people. You have to get to know your people. You had to accompany your people. Listen to their dreams, to their aspirations, to their fears. Take the time. Tomemos el tiempo para escuchar a nuestros hermanos y hermanas que están sufriendo. Tomemos el tiempo para que reconozcamos a nuestros hermanas y hermanos de todo el mundo. En estos momentos de pandemia necesitamos seguir tomando el primer paso. Nadie lo va a hacer por nosotros. And then, Holy Father says, you know, once you take the first step, once you engage with your people, once you accompany your people, then you bring fruits. And that's because God is asking us, our Lord has asked us to bring fruits. We are a fruitful people. We are. And in the joy of the gospel, I always remind our people here in the Archdiocese of Detroit, I always tell them, you know, we as Catholics, we are not sad Catholics. We are not. We are joyful missionary disciples. In good times and in difficult times. We want to share this joy because we know our Lord. And he's the one asking us to proclaim this good news. Yes, as he did in today's passage, he was going around in the synagogues proclaiming the good news, curing the sick, acknowledging the presence of our people in need. And that's precisely what we do. So I'm going to ask you, Juan Pablo, as, we, as you engage with our people, I want you to walk with them in this time of crisis. Camina con ellos. I want you to listen to their concerns with compassion. I want you to respond to their fears with sensitivity. And I want you to always proclaim his word with hope and with love so that they might feel his presence in their lives. Today is a moment to celebrate. Tenemos que seguir celebrando la presencia de Dios, el llamado del Señor. I thank my brothers of the Companions of the Cross. I want to thank all of our leadership from Companions of the Cross for your support in nurturing the vocation of Juan Pablo. I want to thank his family. Le quiero agradecer a la familia. Se toma toda una familia para ayudar a crecer en la vocación. Les pido que sigan pidiendo por Juan Pablo. It gets better. Trust me. I also believe that the most important thing as we want to give thanks to God is to always lift up our faith for the one who has called us first, with joy. That's the point. We know our Lord. And today, he's given us a great example. He's calling forth Juan Pablo. 
and he saying to him, do not be afraid. I will place my words in your mouth. So my brothers and sisters, le damos gracias a Dios. Bendito sea Dios. Amen. Dear son, before you enter the order of the diaconate, you must declare before the people your intention to undertake this office. Do you resolve to be consecrated for the church's ministry by the laying on of my hands and the gift of the Holy Spirit? Do you resolve to discharge the office of deacon with humble charity in order to assist the priestly order and to the benefit the Christian people? Do you resolve to hold fast to the mystery of faith with a clear conscience, as the apostles urges, and to proclaim this faith in word and deed according to the gospel and the church's tradition? Do you resolve to keep forever this commitment to remain celibate is a sign of your dedication to Christ the Lord for the sake of the kingdom of heaven in the service of God and men? Do you resolve to maintain and deepen the spirit of prayer that is proper to your way of life? And in keeping with this spirit and what is required of you, to celebrate faithfully the liturgy of the hours with and for the people of God and indeed for the whole world? Do you resolve to conform your way of life always to the example of Christ, of whose body and blood you are a minister at the altar? Do you promise respect and obedience to the diocesan bishop and to your legitimate superior? May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. My dear people, let us pray that God, the all-powerful Father, will mercifully pour out the grace of his blessing on this his servant, whom in his kindness has raised it to the sacred order of the diaconate. Let us kneel. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Michael, pray for us. Holy angels of God, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. 
Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Anne, pray for us. Saint Peter and Saint Paul, pray for us. Saint Andrew. Mary Magdalene, pray for us. Saint Stephen, pray for us. Saint Ignatius of Antioch, pray for us. Saint Lawrence, pray for us. Saint Maximilian Kolbe. Saint Jose Luis Sanchez de Rio, pray for us. Saint Joan of Arc, pray for us. Blessed Miguel Pro, pray for us. Saint Maria Goretti, pray for us. Saint Teresa Benedict of the Cross, pray for us. Saint Perpetua and Saint Felicity, pray for us. Saint Agnes, pray for us. Saint Gregory, pray for us. Saint Augustine, pray for us. Saint Athanasius, pray for us. Saint John Paul II, pray for us. Saint John of the Cross, pray for us. Saint Alphonsus Liguri. Pray for us, Saint Thomas Aquinas. Pray for us, Saint Francis de Sales. Pray for us, Saint Basil. Pray for us, Saint Martin. Pray for us. Saint Pius of Pietrelcina, pray for us. Saint Louis de Montfort, pray for us. Saint Jose Maria Escriva, pray for us. Saint Joseph Cupertino, pray for us. Saint John Chrysostom. Saint Ignatius of Loyola, pray for us. Saint Philip Neri, pray for us. Blessed Solanus Casey, pray for us. Saint Benedict, pray for us. Saint Francis and Saint Dominic. Saint Francis Xavier, pray for us. Saint John Vianney, pray for us. Saint Margaret Mary Alico, pray for us. Saint Teresa of Lisieux, pray for us. Saint Bernadette, pray. Saint Catherine of Siena, pray for us. Saint Teresa of Jesus, pray for us. Saint Juan Diego, pray for us. 
blessed Carlos Acutis, pray for us. All holy men and women, saints of God, pray for us. Lord, be merciful. Lord, deliver us, we pray. From all evil, Lord, deliver us, we pray. From every sin, Lord, deliver us, we pray. From everlasting death, Lord, deliver us, we pray. By your incarnation, Lord, deliver us, we pray. By your death and resurrection, Lord, deliver us, we pray. By the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, Lord, deliver us, we pray. Be merciful to us sinners, Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Govern and protect your holy church. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Keep the Pope and all the ordained in faithful service to your church. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Bless this chosen man. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Bless and sanctify this chosen man. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Bless, sanctify, and consecrate this chosen man. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Bring all peoples together in peace and true harmony. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Comfort with your mercy the troubled and the afflicted. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Strengthen all of us and keep us in your holy service. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Jesus, Son of the living God, Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Lord God, mercifully hear our prayers and graciously accompany with your help what we undertake by virtue of our office. Sanctify by your blessing is this man we present, for in our judgment we believe him worthy to exercise sacred ministries. Through Christ our Lord. Draw near, we pray, Almighty God, giver of every grace, 
who apportion every order and assign every office, who remain unchanged but make all things new. In your eternal providence, you make provision for every age as you order all creation through him who is your word, your power, and your wisdom, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. You grant that the church, his body, adorned with many full heavenly graces, drawn together in the diversity of its members, and united by a wondrous bond through the Holy Spirit, should grow and spread forth to build up a new temple. And as once you chose the sons of Levi, to minister in the former tabernacle. So now you establish three ranks of ministries in their sacred office to serve you in your name. And so, in the first day of the church, through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, your son's apostles appointed seven men of good repute to assist them in the daily ministry, that they might devote themselves more fully to prayer and preaching of the word. By prayer and the laying on of the hands, they entrusted to this chosen man the ministry of serving a table. We beseech you, Lord, look with favor on this servant of yours, who will minister at your holy altar and whom we now humbly dedicate to the office of deacon. Send forth upon him, Lord, we pray, the Holy Spirit, that he may be strengthened by the gift of your sevenfold grace for the faithful carried out of the work of the ministry. May there abound in him every gospel virtue, unfeigned love, concern for the sick and the poor, unassuming authority, the purity of innocence, and the observance of spiritual discipline. May your commandments shine forth in his conduct, so that by the example of his way of life, he may inspire the imitation of your holy people. In offering the witness of a clear conscience, may he remain strong and steadfast in Christ, so that by imitating on earth your Son, who came not to be served, but to serve, he may be found worthy to reign in heaven with him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Blessed are they who dwell in your house, O Lord. Blessed are they who dwell in your house, O Lord. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord God of hosts. My soul is longing and yearning, is yearning for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my soul ring out their joy to God the living God. Blessed are they who dwell in your house, O Lord. Receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you have become. Believe what you read. Teach what you believe. And practice what you teach. Peace be with you.
Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Live on in my love. You will live in my love if you keep my commands, even as I have kept my Father. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God and the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and of all his holy church. Holy Father, whose Son chose to watch the disciples' feet, and so set us an example, accept, we pray, the oblations of our service, and grant that offering ourselves as a spiritual sacrifice, we may be filled with the spirit of humility and zeal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you made your only begotten Son, High Priest of the new and eternal covenant, and by your wondrous design, you were pleased to decree that many ministries be exercised in the church. For Christ not only adorns with a royal priesthood the people he has made his own, but with a brother's kindness, he also chooses men to become cheaters at this, his sacred ministry to the laying on of hands. He chooses them to lead your holy people in charity, to nourish them with the word and strengthen them with the sacraments as they give up their lives for you and for the salvation of their brothers and sisters. They strive to be conformed to the image of Christ himself and offer you a constant witness of faith and love. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Venis Unceli et Terra, Gloria Tua. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the gifts we prayed, sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that parting, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Alan, our Bishop, be mindful also of this, your servant, whom you have willed to provide today as a minister for the church and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, your spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Por Cristo con él y en él, a ti Dios Padre omnipotente, en la unidad del Espíritu Santo, todo honor y toda gloria, por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata muni, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata muni, miserere Catamundi Dona nobis pacem.
Behold the Lamb of God. Este es el Cordero de Dios, el que quita el pecado del mundo. Dichosos los invitados a la cena del Señor. Señor, yo no soy digno de que estés en mi casa, pero una palabra tuya no es para sanar.
Oremos. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, to your servant, whom you have replenished with heavenly food and drink, that for the sake of your glory and the salvation of believers, he may be found faithful as a minister of the gospel, of the sacraments, and of charity. Through Christ. Our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. An ordination takes a lot of work and organization. I want to thank everyone uh, for coming, but also all those who helped in, in putting on the whole ordination. I think Juan Pablo might have been the one who did the most work for, for his own ordination. Thank you, Juan Pablo. Uh, <laughs> of course, I want to thank again Bishop Arturo, and not only Bishop Arturo, but all his office staff, all those people who work behind the, the scenes, uh, brother priests and, and deacons, uh, friends, uh, seminarians, friends of uh, Juan Pablo, both in the house and, and from the seminary, future, future Bishop Arturo, and, <laughs> and you know, again, all your, the family, uh, the, the friends, uh, you know, people doing the live stream, Hannah for coming to help sing in the choir, anybody who contributed in any way, which you all did but just by your prayers, all those even on, on live stream uh, joining us. Thank you to everybody. <clears throat> also, on behalf of Juan Pablo and the companions, I'd like to invite everybody downstairs afterwards. There's a hall right beneath this church, and so you're welcome to come to a reception. First, right after the Mass, there will be some pictures. Then Juan Pablo is going to go downstairs to bless the food so you can start eating, but then he's going to come back up here to uh, do, give blessings for anyone who wants to line up and, and get a blessing from him. So I don't know if you want to eat of it first or go back down, but uh, that's what's going to happen afterwards. Thank you very much.
just want to thank the Lord Jesus first and foremost. Thank you, Bishop Cepeda. Thank you for ordaining me. Thank you for my family. Le doy gracias a Dios por mi familia, por el ejemplo que me dieron desde chico. Gracias por darme el don de la vida eterna, Jesucristo nuestro Señor. Thank you everyone who's made it today, and thank you for those who have brought even uh, some extra goodies, food. Thank you for all those who've helped in all the many ministries involved with this, whether it be the live stream, the cameras. Thank you for the music team, for the hospitality team. Thank you for uh, those who've traveled from afar, uh, all the way from Phoenix and all the way from Houston. And I'm just so grateful. Um, that I, I really hope that you can join us downstairs for a uh, lunch reception. We got uh, a good meal cooked by our, our beloved Deacon Joshua, who's an expert in, uh, in uh, grilling, barbecuing. Thanks, Deacon. Uh, serving like a good Deacon, the people of God. And uh, yeah, so please, uh, right after Mass, we're going to have some pictures here. Uh, so my, uh, the priests, the deacons, seminarians, stay here uh, right after Mass. We will take some pictures um, with Bishop Zepeda, and then I'll take some pictures with my family, and then extra pictures with whoever um, wants a, a quick shot. And then after that, uh, we'll go downstairs and bless the food, and then I'll come back up here to give you blessings. So if you want to receive a first blessing, um, then I'll be up here for that. So you can come up. But not everyone, you know, rush upstairs to get a blessing, take turns, and some of you can begin eating while others uh, are here upstairs. Uh, well, again, thank you so much. Muchísimas gracias a todos. Todos los que están viendo en vivo a través de nuestra página de nuestro canal de YouTube. Muchísimas gracias por acompañarme. Toda mi familia en Guadalajara, en México, en Texas, aquí de Detroit, de todos lados. Muchas gracias por acompañarme. Muchas gracias por sus oraciones. Dios los bendiga, Dios se los pague y nos veremos pronto si Dios quiere para estar con ustedes y seguir en esta caminar con nuestro Señor Jesús en este ministerio que nos llama a todos. Thank you very much. You did very good. Thank Muy you. bien. Gracias. Gracias nuevamente for saying yes. I know that we are keeping you in, in our prayers. It gets better, brother. It does. Amen. As we go and proclaim good news with joy. Antes de la bendición final, me gustaría que tomar la oportunidad para que tú también me des tu bendición y podamos seguir nuestro caminar proclamando la buena nueva. So I'm going to ask your blessing before the final soul and blessing. Thank you. It feels great. <laughs> <laughs> Gracias a todos. Thank you very much to all of you for joining us in this moment of celebration of great joy. May we continue to pray for vocations as we hear in today's gospel. Vocations to the priesthood, to religious life, to consecrated life. It is possible. <laughs> yes, it takes a family to raise a deacon who will become a priest and God willing to continue to proclaim good news. So, muchas gracias, thank you very much. I feel so at home, especially for toda nuestra familia de México uh, y de Texas. We have people, I'm from Texas too, so así que por eso. San Antonio, which is very close to Houston. Ah, this <laughs> sounds like a commercial, but it's not. <laughs> gracias, thank you very much, Deacon, and uh, sure that they're looking forward for your grilling and all your food. Very good. <laughs> Please bow for God's blessing. The Lord be with you. May God, who has called you to the service of others in his church, 
Give your great zeal for all, especially the afflicted and the poor. Amen. May he who has entrusted you with preaching the gospel of Christ help you as you live according to his word to be in sincere and fervent witness. Amen. May he who has appointed you a steward of his mysteries make you an imitator of his son Jesus Christ and as a minister of unity and peace in the world. Amen. Y la bendición de Dios Todopoderoso, Padre, Hijo y Espíritu Santo, desciende y permanezca en ustedes hoy y siempre. Amén. Amén. Go in peace. <laughs> I believe in the risen one I believe I overcome By the power of his blood Amen, amen I'm alive, I'm alive because he lives Amen song join the one that never ends because he lives I was dead in the grave I was covered in sin and shame I heard mercy call my name He rolled the stone away Amen, Amen I'm alive, I'm alive because He lives Amen, Amen Let my song join the one because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, every fear is gone. I know he holds my life.